Hey guys, Constec here, back again for another video. So, uh, today will be a follow-up video on the GigaWare K550. As you can see, I have somehow dismantled it, removed the keycaps, and replaced some of the switches with Otemu Silent Whites. Uh, these are the switches. Uh, these are linear switches, very silent compared to the clicky switches of uh, the K550 that came with it. So, as I've said on my previous video, the, these kinds of switches have very questionable quality. So, uh, the good thing about the K550 is that it comes with a hot swappable board. So, you can easily replace it with uh, better quality switches like this one. So, I just want to show you the close-up of the board, just so you know I'm not fooling around with it, the hot swappable board it has. Take a look. So, this is what you'd see on most keyboards with a hot swappable board. So, my, cor um, my correction on those folks I've replied on the comment section of the first video, um, it's a 3-pin uh, board as you can see it's not two pins uh, I assume these are the pins but this big hole is also considered one so it's a three pin hole Otemo switches would fit on it cherries will not because cherry pins have thicker uh, copper contacts Otemos have thinner contacts like this one so, so far, Otemu switches are the only ones that's going to fit here. Gatorons will not because it's a 5-pin one. Uh, I understand that there is a clipping method for Gatorons to work with 3-pin uh, boards, but I have not tried it yet, and I doubt it it will work because, well, it's a cheap keyboard. There's not much to expect from it. Right? The good thing is, at least you can replace it with better quality switches like Otemo Silent Whites or maybe Reds, Browns. Um, so, let's just go ahead and replace them, okay? So, just to show you a comparison of how the clickies and the linear sound. So, this is how a clicky switch sounds. The blue switch for the K550. See, it's kind of loud. Loud. The silent whites are fairly silent. It hardly makes a sound, actually. And it's much lighter to press. Uh, I think the actuation force of this, which is around 40 to 50 G. Not sure, because I, I f totally forgot what the specs are. But from the feel, it's much lighter compared to my main keyboard, which is the Anpro 2. Let me show you. Alright, so this is an Anpro 2. It has scale box white switches. Let me show you. So it's a clicky switch as well, but it's of better quality than the blues that you'll find on the K550. Uh, pardon, it's kind of messy. Alright, so let's just swap out the uh, the switches. Oh, by the way, if you will be buying uh, switches, uh, buy the 90 piece set. So it, it normally comes with a switch puller like this because you, you'll have a hard time pulling out the switches if you're not going to use any kind of switch puller. Alright, so let's begin. Alright, so one thing you need to remember is that when you buy switches like these, sometimes the pins will bend out. So make sure that they just align properly. It's not too hard. Just make sure it's 90 degrees. And then push it down. Ah, let me show you. 
Alright, so make sure the holes there align to the pins of the replacement switches. And then just push it down until it clicks. Alright, let's put these. Oops, alright, so yeah, let's take a look. So I kind of bended the pin so it didn't fit. So I'll just have to bend it back, make sure it's at a 90 degree angle, and then put it here. There we go. Alright, so. I just put back the keycaps, but uh, that will be it for this short video. Um, if you want to continue supporting my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit on that like button, dislike if you have to, and I'll see you on the next one.